Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're going to be talking about the side effects associated with the use of the thyroid medication Synthroid. Okay, so Synthroid is a very popular thyroid medication used to treat hypothyroidism or low thyroid function. It's not quite as common as level thyroxine, um, but it is fairly common. I would say more common than other, other types of thyroid medication. And the problem is most people, including thyroid patients and doctors, by the way, don't really completely understand how to evaluate symptoms secondary to thyroid medications and especially secondary to Synthroid. But what I'm about to explain to you here uh, applies to all types of thyroid medication. So even if you're taking level thyroxine or armor thyroid or cytomel or lyothyronine or nature thyroid or whatever you're taking, these principles still apply. And there are three main areas that we need to talk about. We're gonna get in that, into that in just a minute, but if you don't know me, I'm Dr. Childs. I'm an internist and I specialize in treating patients with thyroid conditions, helping people with hormone imbalances, and of course, helping people lose weight. But today is about Synthroid and about the side effects associated with Synthroid. Now, I kind of mentioned previously that it's, it's probably a little more complicated than you think, all right? Because most people, when they think about medications, they think, well, if I take a medication, I have a side effect. If the side effect is bad, I stop taking it. End of story, right? Or at least a lot of people think that way. But what I want to describe to you here, um, that kind of mentality doesn't apply to thyroid medications very well. And the reason is because there are three areas that you can have side effects uh, from or related to the thyroid medication that you're using. In this case, we're talking about Synthroid, but again, it applies to all of them. And in many cases, just because you're experiencing side effects doesn't mean you need to stop the medicine, okay? And this is very, very, very important for patients who have thyroid conditions because there are a lot of thyroid medication options, but your doctor may be less likely to prescribe some of them. So you need to be aware that it, the solution may not be to switch medications, but to simply tweak whatever you're taking or how much you're taking. Okay, so this will all make sense as we talk about these things. But let me start, first uh, start by talking about uh, what you're probably familiar with, and that, is, that would be side effects related to the medication itself, right? So just like any other medication, high blood pressure medications, high cholesterol medications, et cetera, that medication can cause side effects that are undesirable, okay? In the case of thyroid medications, that can happen. And there are one of the most prominent side effects that you should be aware of here is hair loss. Okay, so just taking Synthroid by itself is enough to cause hair loss, unrelated to the, its impact on thyroid function. Okay, just the medication itself can cause hair loss, which is a symptom, obviously, that's very disturbing for, for women who experience it, and also men, actually, I should say, as well. Now, this is going to make a, uh, an appearance here. Hair loss as a symptom is gonna make an appearance in all three of these areas as we talk about it. So I want you to keep that in the back of your head. And as I reference it, that's why it has a star here, I'll, I'll give you a little more information about that. So the other, the other point is you need to understand is the medication can cause issues, but also the inactive fillers or dyes or binders found inside the medication itself. Now, it may surprise you to know that Synthroid has a number of these inactive ingredients. So for instance, it contains lactose monohydrate, which is, as the name suggests, lactose. So if you have a lactose intolerance and you're taking Synthroid, you may be reacting to the lactose component and not to the medication itself. Okay, in addition to that, it has a whole bunch of other color dyes and additives and fillers and things like that, including cornstarch. So if you have, you know, if you struggle with corn allergies or something like that, it can cause, you know, cause you to have certain symptoms and, um, and negative reactions related to that. But again, those are the inactive fillers and binders. That's not related to the thyroid hormone, okay? So I want you to sort of distinguish those two things from yourself or, or in your head. But I do want you to also remember that you can get side effects from any of those things, all right? And some people often do, you believe it or not. So thyroid patients tend to be quite sensitive to things like lactose, as, as you might imagine, cornstarch and other binders and fillers, including dyes as well. And if you have reaction to, if you have a reaction to those inactive ingredients, you tend to experience these type of symptoms. So I'm gonna go through them with you. So things like hives, rashes, flushing of the skin, swelling, but also that can be associated with some of the other things we're gonna talk about in a minute. Swelling, intestinal pain, you should not have intestinal pain. That's probably a side effect of something like lactose or the cornstarch itself if your intestines are in pain after you take it. Nausea, vomiting, that's not normal either. Fevers or unexplained fevers, I should say here. Any medication can cause fevers, including Synthroid. Then we have sore joints and or wheezing. Now these are all uh, side effects that you're having a reaction or hypersensitivity-like reaction to these fillers, binders, or I'll include here, dyes. Okay, so all of these things can cause these issues but these are completely separate issues from the dose that you're taking, which is what we're gonna get into next. So this is stage one related to the medication itself and or the inactive fillers, binders, and dyes. Now, the, the second area 
could be related to simply not taking enough Synthroid. Now, if people, for instance, this happens a lot, I hear this from thyroid patients, they'll say, well, I have hypothyroidism and I gained a lot of weight from my thyroid being low, right? And I took Synthroid and I gained a little bit of extra weight. So they say, oh, well, it must be the Synthroid that caused the weight gain. Well, not necessarily. It could have been that your thyroid hormone got worse and your Synthroid dose wasn't high enough to bring that back up to a normal level. So it wasn't the Synthroid that caused the problem, although it could be, by the way, uh, potentially, we'll talk about that in a minute. But it could just be the fact that you weren't taking enough. So as you take any thyroid medication, but Synthroid included, I want you to ask yourself some of these questions. So these are common symptoms of having low thyroid function. So low energy, weight gain, um, hair, skin, and nail issues, so hair loss, uh, skin issues, and then also um, uh, breaking or brittle nails. You can have uh, changes to your mood, like depression. You can have menstrual irregularities or infertility. You can have joint pain, and you can have constipation. So you probably already had those things before you started Synthroid. So I want you to ask yourself a question. When you started taking Synthroid, did your energy get better? Now, it might not have completely went back to 100 or went to 100% of what you used to be, right? It may not be back to normal, but did it get better, okay? Did your weight go down a little bit or did it at the very least stay the same? Um, is your, or are your hair, skin, and nails improving, right? Are they getting any better? Do you feel like your hair is going back somewhat? Um, is your mood getting any better? Is your menstrual cycle getting any better? Is your joint pain getting any better? And how is your constipation doing? If these are not getting better, then the side effects are probably not related to the Synthroid medication itself, but it's related to an insufficient dose. So these problems can usually be solved by increasing the dose that you're taking. So you wanna take more of the Synthroid, assuming it works for you, okay? Again, we're, this, is, this conversation is specific to Synthroid. There are other medications which, which I feel are better for patients, but if you're taking Synthroid, this information is relevant to you. So it could be the case that all you need to do is simply take more of whatever you're taking, um, and this will be enough to improve those symptoms, okay? So that's area number two. This is related to not having enough of the Synthroid, even though it is working for you, okay? So don't, don't confuse the symptoms from the medication itself with simply not using enough of the, the medication that, or enough to solve the problems that you're experiencing. Let me come over here. So then the, the last section is you can also have side effects because you're simply taking too much, all right? So it's the exact opposite of, of not taking enough. Now, it is very possible that Synthroid is the right thing for you, right? It's going to solve your problems. It's exactly what your body needs, but your doctor just gave you a, a dose that's a little bit too high, or you're really sensitive to it, okay? So some people are what I call super converters. They take T4, which is what Synthroid is, and they turn it into T3 without any issues, okay? They just, every, T, every uh, you know, molecule of T4 you give them, they just rapidly convert it into T3, and they have no problem with it, and thyroid function works great, assuming they're taking T4 medications like Synthroid. Now, people who do that, it's really easy to take too much, okay? Now, this is, these people are relatively few and far in between, but they do exist, so some, they might be watching this. Um, and so if you are, pay attention to this. But it's possible that you could simply be taking too much, or you're a super converter, meaning whatever you use, you use it very well. You're very efficient at using the Synthroid that your doctor is giving you. Now, these symptoms are the complete opposite of the ones of, of where of people who are not taking enough. So people who are fall into this category tend to feel a little more fatigued or, or tiredness. Now you'll see energy can make an, an appearance in a lot of these, but they, it's a different type of fatigue that, that the people get when they're taking too much. They can also get irritable. They can have sleep issues or sleep disturbances, usually insomnia. Um, they can have shakes or tremors. So you can feel like your hands just shaking after you started taking your thyroid medication. That might be an indication you're taking too much. Um, it can cause muscle weakness or uh, sore joints. It can cause fertility issues like we talked about previously. And it can cause finally a rapid heart rate or heart palpitations. Now again, these are all signs that the dose that you're taking of Synthroid is probably a little too high. Now this is where it can get a little confusing because it is possible that Synthroid is the right medication for you, but you're not taking too much of it, um, in which case you just have to increase your dose. But it could also be that you're taking too much of it, but you need a different medication as well. Or, or that should be like this. Uh, or yeah, you need to reduce your dose. Sorry, that should be correct. But it could also be the case that you need to switch medications entirely, okay? So you really need to pay attention to where you fit in each of these categories and try and uh, hone or adjust your dose. Now, when I look at any sort of thyroid patients, I'm always thinking to myself, are they reacting to the medication? Are they simply not taking enough or are they taking too much? So those are the questions I'm really trying to answer as I evaluate anybody who's on any sort of thyroid medication. Um, in the case of Synthroid, I feel that most people probably fit into this category and a second close would be this one up here. And very few people are probably in this third category down here. Okay, so it's probably the case that if you're on Synthroid and you're not 
um, having more energy, not losing weight, your hair, skin, and nails aren't improving, etc. It's very possible you're probably not taking enough, and it could also be possible that it's just simply not the right medication for you. Then I would say second to this category are people who respond negatively to the inactive fillers, inactive fillers, binders, and dyes like lactose that I mentioned previously, and also the colorings as well. So people can and do react to those things, in which case you would need to move to a cleaner thyroid medication completely. So you wouldn't, if you have any of these ones in, in area number one, you completely want to switch thyroid medications. If you're in number two, you want to increase your dose. And if you're in number three, you want to at least try decreasing your dose first. So these, this is how I really think about it. And this is how I think you should think about it if you're taking Synthroid and you want to figure out what's going on and why you're not necessarily feeling as good as you ought to feel. Just remember, if you are taking the right dose of thyroid medication and the right type of thyroid medication, your symptoms should be 100% resolved or at least very close to it, like 95% or so. You should not be feeling really, really crummy despite taking thyroid medication of any type, including Synthroid. So I know this can be a little bit confusing, but if you have any questions about this or this process or you know maybe where you fit on it, please leave your comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you haven't already, make sure you download my free thyroid PDF resources. I have tons of resources all designed to help thyroid patients, designed to help them help you guys feel better, um, find the right medication, get on the right natural therapies, etc. So make sure you download those if you haven't already. Um, and that's all I have for you guys today. And otherwise, I will see you in the next one.